You might have heard about the brand Baltic, one of the most desirable micro brands that is celebrating its fifth birthday with a special watch release. The colorful 90s themed Aquascarf Dual Crown Limited Edition, which I ordered during the online release from the Baltic website. I paid around 650 euro for the watch and a few weeks later it arrived at my home in Dubai. So it's time to do the unboxing and full review. On my wrist today, my Mido Decompression Timer 1961. The Aquascarf comes in this black cardboard box with a purple print on top. Inside we find a user manual explaining how to set and operate the watch. And the time graph are results. My watch was tested in Switzerland and runs at plus 8 seconds a day with an amplitude of 295 and a beat error of 0.0. I think these are really good results considering the price point of just 650 euro and the Miyota movement inside. Inside the cardboard box we have the actual watch box which is covered with leather and has this lime green stitching around the sides. Let's open it and here is the watch. An additional rubber strap in purple also comes with the watch. Let's remove all the stickers. A really popping 90s themed watch, exactly what I love. Let's set the time. To do so you unscrew the lower crown, pull it out into the first position and you are ready to set the time. Very simple and straightforward. Afterwards, screw the crown back down, so the watch is water resistant again. With the upper crown we can operate the inner bezel in both directions. Via this function you can use the watch to measure any kinds of activities. Let's check the dimensions. The diameter of the watch is 39mm, the thickness of the watch is 11.9mm, the lug to lug distance is 46mm and the lug width is 20mm. The weight of the watch is 80 grams. The watch comes with two different straps, a green and a purple one, both made out of rubber. Both straps also feature a quick release spring bar which makes it easy to change the straps. Let's see how the watch looks with a combination of purple and green, with the full purple strap, and again with the green strap. The dial is made in a glossy black lacquered finish which lets all of the component colors pop. The 0 to 20 markings on the internal bezel are purple and the rest of it is white. The second hand has an orange tip and the minute hand is made in a bright turquoise green. The hour and second hand are brushed. Overall a great 90s vibe this watch will give you. The dual crown lettering is again printed in purple. All indices have a turquoise greenish outline and loom in the inside. The bezel has a tornado style brushing which is one of the signature features of Baltic. The two crowns are large and grippy, even with gloves no problem to operate them. At the case back you can see the serial number and an engraving of the 5th anniversary. Inside the watch we have the Miyota 9039 movement with hacking seconds function and 42 hours of power reserve. The case is made of 316L stainless steel, features a domed sapphire crystal with internal anti-reflective coating. The watch is water resistant to 200 meters. Time for a loom shot. And now it is time for the watch score. The watch dimensions are very harmonic, the case is thin and the watch will look good on small to big wrists. 
The case is nicely finished, looks very special with the two crowns and feels quality. The movement is a rather basic one, but comes with a good regulation and runs in my case quite precise. The straps are for me personally the biggest disappointment. Even though they look good, the material doesn't feel nice on the wrist at all. For the daily usage, this watch misses a date, function and it will do a better job during the weekend or especially for sportive usage. Image and history are good for a micro brand, the brand recognition of Baltic is also growing but of course still in the range of a micro brand. And the value for money for this watch is really good and one of the best dive watches for under 700 euro I know in the market. All of that together gives the watch a total score of 61 out of 100 what is pretty good for a micro brand. And with that we are at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and review. Let me know what you think about the watch in the comments below. Thank you for watching and bye bye.